Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Lingfield Park here on Saturday. It is February the 24th, 2018. Go look at the stakes races on today's program from Lingfield Races 2 and 4, the 205 and the featured 315. But before we get on to that, remember please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And join me here on YouTube in about uh, two weeks now from uh, from Tuesday for the Shelton Festival. I will have previews up for all those days racing. Um, two days in advance of each race so just keep that in mind um you know i'm a little bit busy i can't do a full um preview until then but uh uh but uh we'll get to that when we get to that but this Lingfield car today is an excellent car to racing um so very nice races over the flat um the flat season does start in about four weeks time so i can't wait for that um but um let's get on to it starting off with the second race of 205 from Lingfield. the second race it's the belly heaver sprint stakes it's illicit stakes for class one horses going for a purse of sixty one thousand dollars it's for four-year-olds and upwards field of eight horses going the thousand meter trip or five furlongs on the weather poly track my top pick in this race i like the number four horse gracious john i'm gonna go four seven one in the tri cast of the trifecta four seven one tri cast trifecta top pick number four gracious john five-year-old gelding by baltic king franbury gets the leg up for dave evans who trains as one most recently, horse had to start about three weeks ago now here at um, Lingfield. 3rd of February, 6 furlongs, 1,200 meters in a Class 1 listed stakes. Horse had a disaster trip. Wide poster, which is not ideal here. This horse finished 12th by 9 lengths. Never really got into it. Weakened out of it. Off the layoff with the wide poster. I, you know, it, just to throw that race out. I think coming here with a better poster, uh, dashing five furlongs this horse should run very well start before the 2nd of january they came at newcastle five furlongs class two conditions race that was a pretty tough race this horse finished seven by four and a half lengths and he just again he kind of weakened out of it, it wasn't his day to win um and then the 22nd of uh, december at wolverhampton five furlongs class two handicap he ran very well it won by nose had a great turn of foot at the end just had a very nice victory with high weight of 135 pounds decent run uh you know one two in a row he won to start before also here at lingfield five furlongs and class uh class two handicap 12th of December horse won by length good post draw again quickened up nicely and has a very nice victory um, you know when he wins he doesn't win by a lot but he, he does close at the end I do like him in this spot so watch out for him so to recap my bets for the second from Linkfield, the 205, it's the listed Heaver Sprint Stakes. Going to go with the four horse Gracious John. Going to go 471 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. So now let's get on to race number four, the 315. The 315 is the first grouped race of the year in the UK for the flat horses. It is the group three Winter Derby, or Winter Derby, shall I say. It's a class one race going for a purse of $135,000. It's a four-year-olds and upwards here. Field of ten horses going the 2,000 meter trip or one lap around the Linkfield all-weather poly track, track, which is a mile and a quarter in circumference. So uh, it, it's a great race here. Um, I think it's a very, you're going to see a nice shot win this horse, nice long shot. And uh, my long shot for this race will probably be the five horse, Kaladi, my top pick. Uh, I'm going to go 5-3-10 in the TriCast or the Trifecta, but... Um, I'm going to use the three horse convey also as a little bit of a each way wager. I'll talk about him also, but my top pick, number five, Kaladi, seven to one here. Um, gets Kirby up in the saddle for Clive uh, Cox, who trains his four year cult by High Chaparral, who is a very good horse. Um, had great Breeders' Cup success uh, back in 2003 2002 at Arlington and Milk Tree. But, um, you know, this Kaladi horse, he hasn't started since Gl Glorious Goodwood. The second, the 5th of August, Goodwood, remember when they had a very soft, uh, wet ground at that uh, this year's Goodwood. Mile and a half in the Group 3 Gordon Stakes. Horse finished second by three and a half lengths. He quickened up a little bit, but the winner, Crystal Ocean, just ran a little bit of a better race. He was second best. I think sitting on the shelf for the past five months or so, he should uh, really be fresh enough to run here. He has a good poster on this race course. You don't want to be drawn wide going two turns here, uh, or three turns, whatever it is. But um, you know, I, I like his post draw. Start before 23rd of June. I came a little last, got firm ground, a mile and a half in the Group Two King Edward Stakes horse from second by half length, and uh, Olivier Pellier, who rode this horse that day, rode a brilliant race. You know his horse was closing up at the end; he he just missed, but it wasn't a bad outing and a very tough run. And then the Derby, the English Derby at Epsom, second of uh, excuse me, third of June, mile and a half, twenty-four hundred meters. This horse finished fourteenth by fourteen lengths that day. Really hit the wall; it just wasn't his day to win. It, the race wasn't really to his liking, I don't think. But before that, he he won the. Um, 
Darby Trial, a good one, very easily in late to, in late May, and uh, he, he had a decent run at Newmarket in early spring of 2017. But um, I th do think off the left, this horse will run well here, seven to one. I'm going to take my chances with him. I'm also going to do a small each way wager on the three horse convey. I think he could get a piece of it. He's six to one here. The six year old gelding by Dancil uh, gets fanning it up in the saddle. This horse actually won this race um, last year very nicely by a neck. Um, you know, going a mile quarter here, wide poster, which is not ideal. This horse came in just getting up there great victory after that they ran this horse in the all-weather championships uh in, uh, in uh, april here at Lingfield, and he, he, you know that day he won by three and a quarter lengths that day and high weight didn't affect this horse and he had a very nice easy victory then after that they sent this horse to hong kong to run a shot in in the champions mile um where he didn't do anything he finished six by nine lengths and just you know that was a tough race he really couldn't stay with them, but I think he hasn't run since the shot in race in early May. I think off the layoff, again, with a good post draw on this race course, I do think he'd get a piece of it if he's fresh. I'll get a small each way wager from me. I do like this horse here also. So to recap my bets now for the fourth race from Linkfield, the 315, it's the Group 3 Winter Derby Stakes. Gonna go with the 5-horse Khalidi. Um, I'm also gonna do a small each way wager on the 3-horse Convey. Um, gonna also play a Tricast or a Trifecta 5 310 here, 5310 in the TriCast of the Trifecta, my top three. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.